Hi, uh, my name's Tim. Uh, welcome to a fourth uh, part of a short series on effective vegan strategy. Uh, today I'm going to be looking briefly at our pro sexual summit, which is um, coming up in, uh, in, in October. Um, and uh, if you've been watching some of the previous series, you'll know that um, we've already mentioned some of our speakers. Um, that's available in the, uh, in the previous film, looking at the top 10 activists. Uh, and indeed, the likes of AFCO, uh, Christopher Sebastian, uh, Dr. Casey Taft, uh, Raffaella Chivata, and Dr. Roger Yates uh, mentioned last time. Um, so today, I'm going to be briefly looking at another 10 of our esteemed guests. Um, and indeed then, uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll be making a, a fifth short film that's looking at a further 10. Um, we've got about 25 guests at our pro social summit speaking. Um, some of them will be there by Skype, mostly of them in person. Um, and just to mention too that there's a really good series on Animal Rights Zone Facebook page um, currently running where there's some short podcasts some of my guests where they are talking about intersectionality, about what intersectionality means, and especially if you're new to intersectionality, uh, I would advise very much so that you go um, to come and have a look at um, and a listen uh, and a read of some of the blogs, some of the podcasts. Um, the Pro Intersectional Summit uh, Facebook event page place to go if you want a sort of one-stop um, kind of, uh, archive of probably over 20 interviews, podcasts, and, uh, vlogs. Um, so it's a great place to start if you're new to intersectionality, which is of course uh, in modern day terms um, something that was sort of developed by Dr. Kimberly Crenshaw, uh, who is a USA uh, academic. Um, and again, I would say anybody new to intersection, I do have a look at Dr. Kimberly Crenshaw's um, Wikipedia page and um, familiarise yourself with um, you know, some of the origins of intersectionality uh, as developed in this modern day context. Um, so, just also to point out that I think I'm due to be interviewed myself on ARZ soon. Uh, and we'll be looking at perhaps some of the deeper, more personal areas of intersectionality, but um, for the purposes of this talk, this is very much more wanting to be about some of our guests. That's not to say I won't be acknowledging some of the issues that have been raised. Um, I will be, but that'll be in the future. Right now, we will be looking at, um, first of all, sort of 10 of our guests this week. Um, and I'm going to be coming, first of all, up with uh, Dr. Amy Breeze Harper. Uh, Dr. Breeze Harper will be speaking by Skype at the summit and we're deeply grateful for Dr. Harper for putting aside some time to, to prepare and speak with us. Um, the, the main project she's, she's involved with is, is the Sister Vegan project which uh, I'm sure some of you will be familiar with. Uh, really some outstanding work there. Um, very much um, very much recommend that <clears throat> you know if you're new to the work of Dr. Bruce Harper, do have a look at uh, the Sister Vegan Project. There's one or two other co collaborators on that. I believe indeed uh, AFCO, a lot of our speakers will be collaborating on that next year. So um, there's some, some great stuff there from Dr. Bruce Harper, and again, thank you, Dr. Harper, for um, taking time out to be part of our summit. It's, uh, very welcome. Um, and also, uh, appearing by Skype, we're very deeply grateful for the time put aside again from Sarah Woodcock. Uh, Sarah Woodcock runs the, um, uh, the, um, the TABS, which is uh, the Advocacy for Vegan Society. Um, and Sarah is involved with a lot of outreach towards veganism. Um, and indeed has won a special place in our hearts. Um, some of you will be familiar with Pig Freud. It does tend to interrupt um, our talks on a regular basis. Pig Freud's actually unavailable today. Uh, I 
think he's nursing a hangover, but Pick Freud did come up with a bus campaign recently that was very much inspired by some of Sarah's work. Uh, Sarah's campaign to get vegan adverts onto buses in major American cities um, is, is, is very inspirational. And indeed, Pick Freud did ask me to just say to Sarah that uh, he thinks you're a star. So there you go, you should be here in person. A big person to say so, but um, did ask me to just say thanks, Sarah, because he did take a lot of inspiration from your fabulous work. Uh, so Sarah will be appearing by Skype. Um, and then we're also very fortunate to have um, Amory Hauser. Uh, she'll also be um, joining us by Skype. Um, Amory Hauser is a scholar, an academic. She's published quite a lot of material. She also does fiction. Um, from an animal perspective um, and should be also looking at some of the issues to do with ableism and working with disabilities and how they intersect uh, in this, this world with, with other areas of oppression and discrimination. Um, so we're very grateful for uh, Amory Hazard for giving up again some time to come and join us. She'll be there um, by Skype which we're we're particularly grateful too. We've got another Skype guest too, Lauren Anelius, who's a very, very influential project now that has really um, gathered a lot of respect and admiration um, from many, many quarters, uh, the, the Food Power Project. Uh, and Lauren is doing some incredibly valuable work um, that um, uh, should be bringing to 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 some of the some of the um, the work she does should be bringing to the talk with a talk to to the side. And again, Lauren, thank you so much for all the work you do, and thank you for coming, uh, putting time aside, and also advising us and helping us uh, in the formation of this summit. Uh, it has been challenging, um, but wonderful to connect with so many people. And Lauren indeed has put us in touch with one or two fabulous people. So. Uh, Again, thank you, Lauren, for, uh, for your contribution uh, to this, which is pretty much the first pro intersection vegan summit, I think, in the UK. Um, I know there's been some people in academic circles, actually, in the UK who've been working on this for a number of years, but I think it's a kind of first kind of public one, as it were. Um, but of course, a lot of our speakers have done uh, a summit early this year in America, uh, the pro intersection summit. So uh, it's something that's really gathering pace and um, another of our guests who will actually be here, which is fabulous, that's Dawn Moncrief and Dawn works with a, a well-fed world, with, which is again hugely influential and inspirational charity, working with animal rights, human rights. Um, and Dawn indeed, some of you uh, came to Veg Fest, uh, I think last year, Brighton, Dawn came over um, and presented at a summit we did there about sustainable food. And we're thrilled that Dawn's able to come back again. And also for the support that a welfare world has given not only to ourselves, but a number of our colleagues um, in grassroots vegan education. Um, and again, Pig Freud did ask me to mention a special thank you for Dawn again. Big star for helping out with the Pig Freud grassroots vegan fundraising campaign that happened last, um, well, about this time last year, October, November 2015. Uh, Dawn and Welfare were very supportive of that. So, again, thank you, Dawn. Thank you. We can't wait to see you again. It's been really brilliant. Um, very happy to see you that you're coming over again and sharing some of the fantastic work that you and your team uh, are, are able to do. Um, and we're also on that note too very happy to um, be touching base with Katrina Fox. Katrina came last year to the London um, event and did she launched her book. Um, and Katrina will be appearing by Skype. Um, and Katrina's looking at kind of business area and whether, especially with marketing, business can be an intersectional approach. Vegan businesses obviously I'm talking about. And um, Katrina will be um, using some of the uh, some of the knowledge and experience she's gained from creating her marvelous book that she she wrote last year about marketing, especially within you know vegan ethical businesses, um, which is of course a very you know very um, influential form of activism in itself. So uh, 
So uh, a Katrina again will be, you know, taking a sort of intersectional perspective and asking some really, really good questions. So that one's going to be very valuable. I can't wait for that one myself. Um, thrilled also to see Dr. Tushan Mehta coming back. He was um, with us last year. Dr. Mehta comes over from Canada. He's a vegan physician, in fact, a practicing physician. And he'll not only be joining us um, for our private sexual summit on the Sunday, the 23rd of October, uh, he'll also be with us for our professional health summit the day before on the 22nd of October. Um, Tushar will be looking at how um, you know the environment and animal um, exploitation kind of intersect and how that uh, affects especially people um, you know through climate change and other forms of um, environmental damage and destruction. So that's a very interesting talk. Tusha will be here in person. And again, thank you very much, Tusha, for taking time out to, to do all that traveling to and come and join us. Um, Omawali Adewale, I can't wait to meet Omawali Adewale. He's a kickboxer who lives in New York. And um, not only, again, is he going to be with us for the day before for the Athlete Summit, um, but he will also be part of our intersectional summit. And Omawali works um, with you know, young people, disadvantaged young people quite often in inner cities in the USA. So um, as with many of our speakers, uh, Omawali really lives and breathes intersectionality. This is the whole life that's going on around. For some of us, intersectionality is, a, is a, almost like an academic framework to help us um, start deconstructing some of the systems of oppression that you know, create privilege and oppression. Um, but, you know, people are like, well, like, wake up and live and breathe this. And, and this is a thing to remember with intersectionality for a lot of us that are kind of new to this area is that, you know, intersectionality comes from suffering and oppression. And it's a struggle, you know, for basic rights and equality to have a voice to be heard. Uh, it's where a lot of this comes from. So, yeah, it is uncomfortable work sometimes. It's challenging work. Um, but it's so valuable um, and you know I'm so thrilled that we have so many quality speakers who really do understand the nature of this um, who will come and present at our, um, at our summit. So again thank you um, going out to uh, Omawale and Demetrius Bagley, some of you may well be familiar through the film Vegucated. Demetrius is a real star, he's He's achieved so highly and I know, you know, he has inspired people all over the world with his filmmaking. Uh, Demetrius will be joining us by Skype again with his presentation um, and I do want to try and catch up on myself. I know how much, especially Vegucated, the film has inspired a lot of people in the UK, especially um, our own Alan Lee, indeed, um, uh, who works with VegFest, was, was deeply inspired by Vegucated. Um, so, uh, and I just wanted to mention also Joe Bryden here, who um, we did mention last week, just very briefly, uh, in the previous talk, Joe is working with the Animals Alliance down in Brighton, and Joe is a grassroots vegan activist, who also is going to be speaking from a, quite a personal perspective as a LGBTQ plus member of the community there. Um, and Joe um, is very uh, eloquent and um, Quite a powerful speaker. I'm very much looking forward to to, to Joe's uh, Joe's talk too. So so thank you, Joe, and thank you to all our activists who are joining us for this. Uh, those I haven't mentioned, fear not, we will be doing another ten very shortly. Um, I would ask anybody viewing, if you're stuck with us here, to do go and have a look at these fabulous speakers. Be inspired by some of the work they're doing. Um, read up about intersectionality, start understanding these issues around privilege and, you know, oppression, systematic uh, systems that keep people in, in this, these places um, because we can dismantle them. I think with this framework uh, is incredibly valuable. Uh, I hope a lot of you will be able to join us um, at our summit. Um, do have a look at the website, there's all the information there if you want to come and join us. 
Um, and just to mention too that if you're not able to join us, we are filming, I think, all the talks. So all the talks will be filmed. They'll be filmed professionally, they'll be edited and in time released for free on YouTube. So you'll be able to view all the talks. So wherever you are in the world, you know, if you're particularly inspired by, you know, well, all of these wonderful speakers, activists and groups, then, you know, you will be able to view the, the talks um, for free at a later date. Okay, so that just about wraps it up for this week. Um, thank you very much once again for listening. Um, thank you to all our speakers and activists. And uh, as always, when we wrap it up, let's go vegan. If we're not already going vegan, vegan, please consider going vegan. Uh, let's stay vegan, live vegan, and teach vegan.